When it comes to communication, sometimes it's our body language that says the most, especially the eyes. It turns out that gaze tells us all sorts of things about attention, about mental states, about roles in conversations. Hi, I'm Wakamaru. Nice to meet you. So what happens when you design machines to gaze just like people do? Scientists at the University of Wisconsin are, um, well, looking into that. We can build animated agents and robots that can communicate more effectively by using the, the very subtle cues that people use. Computer scientists Bill Gay Mutlu and Michael Gleischer are developing computational models designed to give robots and animated characters lifelike gaze behavior. I have a task for you to categorize these objects on the table into boxes. Mutlu demonstrated an experiment for us that looks at how well humans carry out a robot-directed sorting task. In one case, the robot very naturally glances toward the objects on the table it wants sorted as it speaks. Could you help me put the green object with one peg into the red box, please? In another case, the robot just stares at the person. Could you help me put the green object with two pegs that is shorter into the red box, please? When the robot uses human-like gaze cues, people are much faster in locating the objects that they have to move. Another experiment explores how an animated character's eyes affect human learning. Today I will be telling you a story that comes straight from ancient China. When the lecturer looked at the map at appropriate times to indicate to the participant that now as a, I'm talking about something on the map, the participant ends up learning more about the spatial locations. The Wisconsin team hopes their work will transform how humanoid robots and animated characters interface with people, especially in classrooms. We can design technology that really benefits people in learning, in uh, health and well-being, and collaborative work. Now that's technology worth keeping an eye on. Isn't that cute? For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.